What I just did is usually considered piano practice. A number of mechanical repetitions, always assisted with metronome, and paying attention only to accuracy of notes. This is not piano practice, not at all. And let me tell you why. There is no articulation, no phrasing, no music direction, no differentiation of the sound according to the meaning of the music, and just playing notes and only according to their mathematical duration, totally regardless their musical meaning. So I'm not thinking in music. What I'm really doing is actually a quite dangerous operation, as I'm dissociating sound from its musical meaning, more or less like learning a language ignoring meaning of words. The different approach I will show is based on music understanding and awareness. Harmonic awareness, stylistic awareness, contrapuntal awareness. In other words, what I summarize with the sentence, think in music. I'm strongly persuaded that with the proper practice method, many of the problems we encounter during our practice may be solved and in many cases prevented. In the last about 150 to 100 years, a couple of things, among many others and probably more than others, determined a radical shift in practice methodologies. By one side, the enormous attention given to technical aspect of music, and partially as a consequence the consistent use of metronome as a mechanical device to keep the tempo during our practice sessions. By the other side, the disappearance of improvisation from regular classical music performances and practice. As performer and teacher, in this short video series, I wish to focus on just one single aspect, which I considered a probably unwanted consequence of these changes. The race of a practice method which I call mechanical performance practice, as I showed in the beginning. A practice method based on a total absence of awareness and understanding. So, the loss of the ability to think in music.